Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about the Spring MVC framework. I will explain the details of the working and the modules which are inside the Spring MVC framework and then we will start coding and building a web MVC framework. So let's start. Spring MVC contains different subparts like when request comes it goes to dispatcher servlet and dispatcher servlet is a medium through which MVC works so initial request comes to a dispatcher servlet and it is passed to handler mapping and the handler mapping what it does is exactly it tells the address of controller where to go and then the dispatcher servlet passes this data of exact address and goes to the exact controller where the data has to be modified or data has to be made and depending upon the methods like post and get method the controller modifies the data and sends the data to view resolver and view resolver manipulates the data and sends the data to the view and finally view is taken as the response and is passed to the user in this way a spring mvc works so we will start our code let's start by creating our first spring mvc project go to file and go to new and create dynamic web project name it as my first spring mvc project go to next or next and click on generate web.xml deployment descriptor click on finish now we have created our first spring project and go to web.xml and simply these are the welcome file list which which comes in starting that is when you run a tomcat or when you run a server it will simply search these files these files and it will when whatever file it, it finds like index.jsp if it finds to be present here then it simply go to the index.jsp but in Spring MVC, we don't want these files. So what we want is to create servlet. That is dispatcher servlet. As I have already told, first thing which is required is dispatcher servlet. That is this dispatcher servlet. And then we will proceed for different parts. That is handler mapping, controller, and view resolver. So to create dispatcher servlet, go to web.xml file and provide this servlet that is which I created. That is org.springframework.web.servlet.dispatcher servlet. This is the main file which is required. Okay, and I created a servlet naming as and this is first spring. So regarding that name only, I'll have to create a XML file. That is this name dash servlet.xml. Then so I'll create right click on this, click new, other XML file I require. So I'll click on XML and name it as this is MVC. Sorry, not this. MVC dash first spring, which I provided here, dash servlet. This, this to be provided at the end of whatever name you should provide. So click on next, then click on finish. So we have created MVC first spring dash servlet. That is MVC first spring dash servlet. So we have got our first spring servlet file and here I will provide the schema for the spring which I am going to use like I am going to use spring 4 so schema for that is this you can simply check on that and provide this data and I will close the bean bean tag and other things which you require is to provide different library jars so we have to provide jars also I downloaded the spring 4 jars so I'll go to the leaf folder of Spring and I'll simply copy all the jars and paste in my leaf folder. And other jars, there are some other jars which are also required. And other jars which are also required are comments.login jar. So I'll simply copy this jar and I'll paste in my leaf folder. So I provided sufficient jar that is common dot login and spring jar what else one, one more jar is required that is servlet jar 
so I will provide that jar also I will simply paste here only click on ok we have my spring jar and server jar also that is server jar also ok now everything is working fine now I will provide a controller class go to this RC create a package name the package as Spring dot summit dot my package. I created a package and inside this I'll provide a class that is controller class. So I'll write my controller class. I don't want my main method to be here, so I'll click on finish. So I provided a controller class also. So but the one more thing is to be required the thing which is to be required that it should extend a class that is go to right click on this and create class and write my controller class or name it as my first controller class and the thing which I was talking about is this it should extend some controller interface so provide this controller interface or simply go to add type controller and click on the controller and click on ok click on finish so you can see we have got the controller class and this was not extending to other classes that is my, my controller class so I will simply remove this and simply delete this I don't require this and it was not actually any controller interface so this is implementing our controller interface so what I will do here I will simply provide data in this but before this let's create our beams that is mean for handler mapping controller and view resolver so I will write That is exact handler mapping which I am using is being name URL handler mapping being name URL handler mapping. No, no, URL handler mapping. So I will be requiring the tag path for this. That is just path. One thing is to note that we actually don't require to be these things to be trained here works on its own so but to show you I am providing this data and now I am writing my controller class so my controller and one thing which we have to do is whenever we are providing my, my controller class we will have to provide the URL for this so I am simply writing HTML or anything and I will have to provide the class name that is the class which I am using is my first controller class so I will simply go in this and I will check the package this is my package I will simply paste it here dot my class class this is the class which I am having and I am including this theme and I am including this theme also so in this way we have provided our handler mapping and controller that is handler mapping is being provided and controller has been provided <coughs> but one more thing is left out that is view resolver so we will check and go for the view resolver I will use internal resource view resolver so view resolver <coughs> I will simply copy this import file Path and I will simply create a beam with bean ideas my view resolver and I'll provide 
class name as class the path which we have copied and I'm not going to close this bin here instead I will be closing here why because we want to provide data where the beauty of the parts to be found that is the request will go to handler mapping and it will tell the path of controller first it will request will come to dispatcher server then it will go to handler mapping and handler mapping will tell the dispatcher server to go to this controller that is handler mapping will tell to go to this controller and after going to this controller it will again go to dispatcher server that is dispatcher server will tell to go to the which view resolver and I am going to provide data in view resolver to tell the dispatch the view resolver to pass the exact data to dispatcher server to go to particular view so for, to, for going to a particular view we need to provide prefix and suffix in the view resolver that is I am going to provide property that is property and the property needs to be provided here is name is prefix that is to search where like I am going to write my property here and provide value and value I will provide this folder where I am going to put my JSP file so I will provide simple web dash inf and one more thing I will have to write here this was the prefix part I am going to provide suffix also and the suffix part I will simply write dot jsp it will, it will go and search depending upon the dot jsp part that is it's in, it should end with dot jsp and in my controller class I am going to write code for my model and view I will call the class model and view model view class m it as mv mv and I will create new model and view and in this model and view I will tell the view resolver which JSP exactly to go so like I am going to create a JSP file name new create a JSP file I will simply create JSP file name as success Spring. I'm copying this also. I'll click on finish. So I'm having JSP and I'll tell the view model in view to go to success for JSP Spring and it will simply check for success for JSP Spring inside web.inf and with extension.jsp and it will simply go to this success.jsp part. So I am removing this part and I don't require this also that is this also and this also so I am removing these parts and in model view I am going to write some attributes like mv dot add object and I will provide attribute success and in success I will write Success Let's get H1 Let's get H1 And make my 
body style is like like photo style and okay, create body color as background color and name it as and name the color as yellow okay so one more thing this is not working in proper way so click on control shift and x and it will be arranged in a proper way simply here also and I'll have to provide this and return and we see what I've done here. I've got my spring dot in, in my if mbc first spring xl.xml file. I created a handler mapping which will redirect to controller my controller.html URL and using that URL you go to my first controller class that is this and inside this you go to the model and view and it will check these attributes my name and success and my name and success attributes will be passed to model in view my that is view resolver and in view resolver it will check for this file that is success for spring file and inside web inf that is prefix part and with an extension of dot dsp that is suffix part so it will go to web inf with an extension of dot dsp it will go to success for the spring js dot jsp file and in success for spring dot jsp file that is built which i have passed that is my name and success will be simply printed in this so let's see how it works and let's run the code first let's clear everything let's refresh this And one more thing I'm going to do here is like add the red page. I simply write is l ignore is equal to false. What el does is it checks whether to execute or evaluate an el expression or not. So I'm putting this as false. So I because I simply want this my name and success to be printed here so now I'm going to run this code and check whether it is coming properly or not run on server always use this server click on next click on finish so my server has started now it's starting and expanding the screen so that I can I will be able to see other things. I am copying this URL because I will be this will be required at an initial phase. So my server has started. Now what I will do? The URL which I have copied here, I will simply paste here. I'll simply paste here. That is my this URL. That is it will go to first my controller class. It will return these attributes to my JSP page. So, so I tested my URL, exact URL, and now I'm getting into the, see the attributes game that is which I have provided in this and this now full screen. Which I, the attributes which I have which I have provided in my model and view that is my name and success. It got passed through Spring dot my first Spring dash server dot XML from my controller part to view part and view part went to success.dsp where it got printed to so my name and success got printed and the data is coming as I am Sumit and I made my first spring VC project. Thanks for watching.